I, I have got, powder mold. I got powder mold. I've been spraying for powder mold, and I got powder mold again. <laughs> well, the first culprit of powder mold is obviously going to be by you bringing it into the room. The second is going to be not really, I've gotten rid of, to, rid of it to begin with. The third culprit could be this, your intake filter. Time and time and time. We have some of our employees do house calls for large gardeners of ours that are our local retail customers. And what we see time and time again is no filter on your intake of your grow room. There's a filter on the air that goes into your car that you breathe for ventilation. Why would you not put a filter on your intake? So these intake, these fresh intake filters are great intake filters. They're, they're high quality. They're also environmentally friendly because they use recycled components out of their other fresh filters to create these. Um, another inline filter is the organic air HEPA filters. Those are ones you can clean time and time again, but let's just admit that those have a little bit of less loss of pressure that, that's a little bit more than the other intake filters. And here we have the Dash Room, which is also a great filter for an intake. This isn't what we'd classify as a HEPA filter, but it does a great job of filtering out any pest, any dust, any mold. And then I'm going to throw you another one. It might not even filter out mold spores after it's been used for some time, but um, these bug screens will actually, they will do actually a job of filtering out the mold for at least a few months while that carbon's existing. You would have to replace these maybe every two grow cycles. Um, but these bug screens are actually designed for intakes. Um, this is our simplest uh, intake filter that we sell. It has very little to no loss of pressure.